Hey YouTube, it's me, Mia, and welcome to my channel. So, something that I like to do quite often or whenever I can is volunteer. And so, that's why this week, uh, so that's why this week's topic will be about volunteering. Hmm. I don't know where I should start on giving you advice about volunteering. Um, yes, I have a question. Um, okay, I didn't realize that I, okay, I didn't realize there was anybody else here besides the people of YouTube. Oh, okay, I didn't realize there was anybody else here besides the people of YouTube. Um, what's your question? What's your question? What's your question? Well, first question is, where do I look? First question is, where do I look? Well, that is actually, that's a good question. That's actually a good place to start. Well, first, what's your interest? Are you interested in sports? Well, see if there's a local fun run or something like that that's coming, a local or national fun run that's coming to, okay. Well, that's actually a good question. First, start with your interests. Are you interested in sports or sporting um, events? Uh, check to see if there's a local fun run or national fun run that's coming to your city or is happening in your city. Maybe the Super Bowl is coming to your city or maybe um, the Olympics or the Olympics winter or summer is coming to your city. Most organizations like that are always looking for volunteers. So. Most organizations like that are always looking for volunteers. Um, maybe you're more interested in humanitarian work or rescuing animals. Just basically just look at what you're interested in and just Google it. A lot of times you'll be able to find exactly what you need.
Well, question, well, thank you. Um, question two, what if, well, thank you. Um, question two, what if I don't exactly have time where I just don't have enough time? Is there anything I can do about that? Could I? Okay. Question. Well, thank you. Question two. Um, what, what if I don't have enough time? Can I still volunteer? Well, that is actually uh, another great question. Most organizations, well, that's actually another great question. Most organizations that run on mostly volunteers or just are seeking volunteers will already ask you uh, how much time you can give in an application process. Most organizations I've worked with have uh, have always had an application pro uh, process and they ask you how much time you can give and stuff like that and some organizations have multiple app uh, multiple processes in their application they'll ask you how much time you can give or what shifts you can work you know that sort of stuff if you can volunteer I encourage you to volunteer uh, most organizations are going to take as little or as much time as you can give. As long as you can volunteer, it should be fine. But it, it also depends on the organization. Some organizations need a little bit more dedication. Some, organiza some organizations um, are just needing volunteers. And so, you know, they'll take the, all the help they can get pretty much. Okay, question three, um, well, why should I even volunteer? This is going to be so fun to edit. Well, that is a fantastic question. Volunteering is a great way to give back to the community that you would serve. Um, um, okay, that is a fantastic question. Well, volunteering is a great way to give back to the community you would serve. Um, it's a great way to network and meet new people. Um, it's a great way to get a lot of experience, uh, in a, vi a variety, of, uh, it's a great way to get experience in a variety of ways, like learning how to work with people and, you know, just basically you're doing a job for free. So it's basically you would be learning how to work. And it's a great way to experience that. It's also, uh, you get a lot of life lessons out of it. I know I've learned a lot of things just from volunteering. And I've learned a lot of things about myself just from volunteering. So that's another um, great thing. If you are someone who struggles with depression, uh, volunteering is a great way to, one, do something positive, And two, you would be doing something for somebody else. So seeing somebody's um, reaction to your uh, your contribution, 
can have a positive impact on your health, your mental state, all that sort of things. I'm not saying that it will, but it can definitely contribute to getting better with how you feel about yourself and just other aspects of, you know, what makes depression terrible. If you are an introvert, volunteering is definitely a great way to be able to interact with people that you share the same interests with. So if you're volunteering for something like the Super Bowl and you know you like football, well, you may have a lot of conversation about football or anything else. It's just volunteering is just such a great way to just. It's, volunteering is just. Uh, a fantastic thing and I definitely encourage all of you out there my little friend who just popped out of nowhere who also looks vaguely familiar and just yeah everybody just I encourage you to volunteer Okay, uh, one last question. Um, yes. <laughs> well, you say volunteering is a great way to network and meet new people. Well, then, why are you filming yourself talking to a camera in a closet?
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give that this video a Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a gigantic thumbs up. Uh if you like it, eh, if you like this video, be sure to give this video a gigantic thumbs up. Share it. Sharing is caring. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos because I would like for you to get the exclusive on my new videos when they do come out. Well, I hope you're having a great day, a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.